Welcome to the lesson entitled Citizen Science in European Union Framework. I am Andreas Pasiano from Water Resource Research and Documentation Center. This lesson is mainly focused on showing connection between citizen science and sustainable development goals, SDGs, and the role of citizen science within the European Union strategies for policy implementation and scientific research. Let's see the connection with the Sustainable Development Goals. SDGs are 70 global goals adopted by United Nations in 2015 to promote prosperity by protecting planet, addressing economic growth and social needs, tackling climate change and environmental protection. SDGs help to define national and local strategies to balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability, facing poverty, hunger, pollution, and discrimination. How could citizen science support the SDGs implementation? Three possible approaches are suggested. In a contributory approach, citizen science helps enlarging citizen participation in monitoring with the support of crowdsourcing techniques for data collection. In a collaborative approach, citizen science helps involving citizens in defining national and local targets to measure the impact of SDGs. In a co-created approach, citizen science support the implementation of policy and research with joint action between experts, stakeholders, and communities. Anyway, citizen science presents three main challenges in terms of lack of unambiguous criteria and procedures for measuring data quality, different ways of collecting and sharing data, and absence of citizen science in legal framework and organizational schemes. New protocols represent the way forward to face these challenges. For example, identify indicators, identify relevant stakeholders at local level, such as organization or association, hold workshop to co-design methods and to recruit stakeholders and people to be engaged, improving the peer review activities by experts, develop protocols to answer data quality, and running local case study to derive insight to be replicated in other contexts. Now, we focus the attention on citizen science for implementing European Union strategy. According to European Commission, citizen science can contribute to policy cycle through policy relevance, for identification of problems, evaluation of solution, and policy formulation. Citizen science can, all, can also contribute to policy implementation with scientific excellence, providing scientific evidence on which to base decision from citizens' observation and dialogue with stakeholders and relevant participants. Finally, citizen science can contribute to policy cycle through citizen engagement, including diverse perspectives to focus research and policy making on real needs and empower people to draw attention to local issues and to propose solutions. Citizen science offers opportunities for European Union policy implementation in terms of boosting democratic legitimacy and trans transparent governance improving trust between citizens and institutions, offering unique understanding of societal concerns, and finally, providing evidence for policy-making evaluation. Anyway, several challenges remain in terms of promotion of better feedback for citizens, fostering more inclusive practices, integrating different outputs, and identify relevant target groups that could improve and give their contribution 
policy and decision decision making. European Commission has been developed some recommendations to face the challenges. First of all, it's important to match knowledge needs for policies and citizen science activities. Then, it's important to promote awareness, recognition, and trust. Third step is the promotion of standards for data quality and interoperability by sharing tools and practices. And finally, supporting coordination, cooperation, and resource resources among citizens, institutions, stakeholders, and research institutions for policy impact. We can all contribute to policy implementation through citizen science. Experts can work with European Union state members for activities under the Green Deal framework, promoting the availability of citizen science data on existing or new open platforms, reviewing and communicating relevant data, quality requirements, and methodology in cooperation with environmental protection agency or statistical offices. Experts can also work with local communities for communicating transparently on methodology used and adopted, for entering good to good practice, practice, to fostering strategic partnership, for creating an online knowledge base of citizen science initiative across Europe, or finally, promoting the coordination of citizen science initiative at European level, national or regional, regional level. And finally, experts can work with stakeholders to engage in co-creation activities to scope up needs, capabilities, and capacities. Thank you for your attention. For further information, please visit our website and social media channels.